this team. We kicked it on dock here in a good position uh, with which to swing a ball into the likes of Pat Hooven and Andy Boyle and Louis Ainsley who are in there. In it goes and it's gone in low and it's flicked towards goal and it's in! And the joker off the mark and it's Pat Hooven with the goal! Do not give him a header in space inside the box or he'll punish you time and time again. It's a good ball and it just beat the first man and Pat Hooven, 12 yards out on his own, meet the header, plants it bottom left hand corner of the keeper, keeper no chance. That goal the 170th of his career, Pat Hooven, and inches him closer towards the title of all time. He fouled by Vladislav Kreda. And a dog with a free kick in two players standing over it. One of them is Dara Lee, the other is Connor Malley. Connor Malley favourite to take it, no doubt. A dog with plenty of height and size in their team, with the likes of Louis Ainsley, Hayden Muller, Andy Boyle, Pat Hooven forward, Greg Sloggett, no slouch either. Here it comes from Malley, and it's too high for any of those tall players. It might break though for Tullock. Tullock, now Dara Lee. In it goes again it's by again. Daniel Kelly, and it's in again! And it's Pat Hooven again! Joker, but it's Ainsley indeed. He's got the last touch. Louis Ainsley. And so Joker have doubled their advantage, and once again, a set piece and a free kick left. What's up, the heart by two? two? Tim Clancy will be apoplectic on the side. The ball's helped the cross in here, and he just goes. It's very poor defending from both goals from a St. Pat's point of view. Talent will be open tonight, but not quite the party that they would have wanted just yet. Sam Curtis, has he been fouled? The referee says he has. Free kick to St. Patrick's Athletic. Mustn't pass Lee there along the end line. It is a foul according to Paul McLaughlin, and it is a free kick for Jake Mulraney and St. Patrick's Athletic. Can they do something with it? Left-footed in-swinger again from Mulraney. He's gone for the back post. Oh, he's gone for the back post, and he struck the back post. Shot from Jamie Lennon. Blocked in there. Another shot coming in from Joe Redmond and wide. Corner kick for St. Pat's. But what a free kick that was for Mulraney. The question is, did he mean it? Well, whether he, he meant it or not, he, he definitely wanted to whip it into that back post and hopefully get people making runs across the fenders, across the goalkeeper. And he's unfortunate. An excellent follow-up stri strike as well. Ball breaks kindly for Conor Malley. Malley in support is Hayden Muller. Muller with the oh. ambitious shot from distance. Saved by Otto Monsoon, it's in! And it's Rehan Tullock with the goal. And just as they did at the start of the first half, at the start of the second, Dundalk strike. And Dundalk lead by three goals to nil. Good play for Dundalk. Ball worked out to, to Muller. Out out and he fell right to, the, to Tullock's feet and, and he's just tucked it away into an open goal. Good ball out. I mean, he's, he's full 30 yards out and he struck it really well. But there's absolutely no need for that. That's, that's, for, the, that's for the cameras. That's terrible goalkeeping. Here's Mali. And now Sloggard, and he slipped that through to the feet of Daniel Kelly. And Kelly, he's away from Lewis, and it's four! And the dog season is up and running at Oriel Park. Daniel Kelly's season is up and running. It's Dundalk for St. Patrick's Athletic now. Really, really good play, incisive play from the dog. Tullock has started off, Mali into Sloggard. Lovely slide rule pass there. Once he's in there, Dan Kelly, you can't touch him. This will be the start of, of it again. Slugger just runs into a crowd of Dundalk and St. Pat's players. Here's Conor Malley, and Malley has stuck it away. And Dundalk's advantage now is five. And a difficult night for St. Patrick's Athletic appears to only be getting now. worse. Oh. Let's not take any, again away from Malley's the, the finish of it. He's done really, really well. He's walked onto it. Yes. That is the story from Oriel Park this evening. It's been an entertaining evening if you're a Dundalk supporter. It's been a pretty dismal one if you're a St. Patrick's Athletic su supporter. Final score here at Oriel Park. Big win for Dundalk. Their first of the season. Dundalk 5, St. Patrick's Athletic nil.